Leukemia and Lymphoma Society presented its Man and Woman of the Year over the weekend. And joining us now is the Woman of the Year 2022, Natalie Sherrod. Natalie, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Boy, did we have a blast on Saturday. Uh, have you recovered? Barely. I mean... <laughs> Still moving a little slow, but no, it was such an amazing, incredible night. It was amazing. 11 candidates all vying for a title of either man or woman of the year. Uh, we're showing some video from Saturday's event, and you were crowned with woman of the year, having raised $274,000. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Did Thank you, you know you were you were gonna win with that amount of I mean that's, that's no. is that a record is that the most that the woman of the year has it, ever raised it is oh, man. it is so I I I knew there was a shot but you just you never know I mean you know you went through it last year and the whole time you have no idea how much anywhere else anyone else is at and yeah. but it 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 was a good feel I knew by the end of it I knew we had done everything we could do and that we raised a lot of money so either way and that's the point really yeah. you just want to leave it all on the field because it's really it is a competition which is how they make it fun right. and get everybody fun. really fun I know yeah. no it's it, I, I always you know and I think they, they look for competitive people because you know it, it makes for better fundraising but at the end what's great about it is that I know probably for you like it was for me last year you you make lifelong friendships yeah. because you're all doing something for a, a good cause yeah. and for a special reason individually and that just brings people together on a, on a completely different spiritual level yeah. if you bear with me and I want to talk about your reason because you have a really interesting story in that your husband is a cancer survivor is, from yes. 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. this, this year marked 10 years cancer free for him so that was a big reason why I said if we're going to do this and we're going to do it big this is the, the year to do it and um, it was a really great way to honor that. And why LLS? Specifically, so Francesco was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2011. So the diagnosis was 11 years ago. Um, he was 31. And, you know, it, obviously it changed everything. And he went through a, a, a terrible time, but he got through it. And the treatment worked. And for Hodgkin's lymphoma specifically, they've done so much research that it's a pretty regimented you know, you, you come in, you do this, you do this, and it usually works. And being out of that and looking back and realizing how amazing that is, and um, you know Hadley, who's you know part of LLS, and we were having the conversation a couple years ago, and she made a comment, and she said, you realize the only reason it was that, and I don't want to say easy because it's not easy, but that it worked that way is because of the research done 20 years ago. I just got goosebumps. I, and that's what I said, take all my money. <laughs> and, and, and I know other people, and, mm -hmm. and um, Akbar Khan, who was the runner-up this year, has, you for know, man of the year, for raising the over year. $300,000. Insane, you know? So, and I just want to point out, because I know when, when I was asked to do this, I really did my homework with LLS and everything that they've done, because unfortunately you have some organizations and you're not sure where the mm -hmm. money goes. LLS, has invested so much of their money, as so much of their dollar goes back to the cause. Yeah. And over 85% of the ca blood cancer treatments that have been passed by the FDA since 2017 have yeah. come from LLS funded research, which is that, phenomenal. So it begs the question, if we didn't raise these that, dollars, yeah. Who would be doing this? It was that was another reason why I kind of went all in. Um, you know, when I, when I started looking more into LS like you, um, I just saw all the amazing accomplishments in the time that this campaign. This campaign started April 13th. There have been four FDA approvals from research done from LLS. So, and and one of those is a pediatric um, approval, which in the last 40 years before that, there'd only been four new. Yeah pediatric drugs and leukemia is the number one childhood cancer and so to feel like you can really be a part of that was it was pretty incredible and to be in that room and and I mentioned you know that night there are people that were in that room on Saturday that would not be here if the drugs approved in the last three years hadn't been approved so that is I mean we're like, it's just an amazing feeling. You're a lifesaver, Natalie, mm -hmm. really. And I'm just annoying people, asking people for money. You know what? I, I had to get over that because I, 
you just you're doing it for much bigger things and what you've done is just phenomenal yeah. I mean two hundred and forty seven thousand dollars it's just incredible and we should say Sully was going to be I here know. with you this talk morning. about incredible yeah so Sully uh, unfortunately had a family situation he couldn't be here this morning but he raised over four hundred eighteen thousand dollars I mean the record I think if you look at everyone's faces <laughs> that night it was a what? Yes. And it, I mean, that's it's it's incredible. And as a whole class, you guys broke your your goal that you were set for a million dollars with over one point five million dollars uh, raised. Just absolute kudos and hats you. off to all of what you did. Thank and you. I hope you really relish in the moment. Thank and you are so, so proud. much. Well, I appreciate. I just have to thank everybody for the support and um, you know my company listened to my crazy ideas when I said. <laughs> We're gonna do this, and they stood behind me, and I just and I just appreciate everything, and everybody contributed. So, well, now amazing team, job well done to you and your team, and everyone really uh, this year for all that raised, uh, amazing.